Hello and welcome. This is Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunter, a PS3 and PSP mini. It was, I think, one ninety nine in my local currency, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, this is, I think, the first mini I ever played. I haven't played many, but I think this was the first one, and it was one of the things that put me off. Not because it's horrendously bad or anything, but because it's... Well, you'll see. You'll see what it is. The idea, with absolutely no explanation, seems to be to hunt dinosaurs. <laughs> That's given away in the title. But here we have um, Hunt, Trophy and Help. Help doesn't really tell you anything. It shows you your controls. So you can make dinosaur calls, you can look through binoculars, you can look at a map and you can shoot stuff, basically. And Trophy puts you in... Ugh. And I always forget about that. I'll come back to what was going on just then, in a second. Um, these are basically the dinosaurs I've successfully hunted so far. Not very many of them, as you'll notice, but um, the reason for that will become apparent. Alright, let's get on with Hunt. So far we've only got two maps. I've played this for probably two hours in total, and I haven't unlocked anything new yet. I haven't unlocked any new maps or new dinosaurs to hunt or new weapons. Oh, actually, apparently I unlocked crossbow. That's a new one. Um, so, anyway, let's go with... Uh, I don't know. No, we can't hunt that one. Let's go on this map and hunt the Stegosaurus. I've hunted the Stegosaurus before, but it's the most conspicuous dinosaur of the ones I've hunted to date, so... Um... Nah, let's hunt a Triceratops, actually. With a pistol, because that's all we can use for that one, apparently. And then... In we go. Now, the, the reason I was going... Like that before, in the trophy section is because of the way this controls. Like all PS3 minis, or PlayStation minis, it was designed with control on the PSP in mind, and the PSP only has one stick. So, um, this game implements a weird control system that will be familiar to people who played, <laughs> appropriately enough, Turok Dinosaur Hunter on the N64, where you move forwards, backwards, left and right using the buttons, the face buttons, and you look using the left stick. So, um, when I spawned in the trophy room a minute ago, I pressed forward to move forward and looked up by mistake. Anyway, this is um, the landscape, the first map. I've also been on the second map, and really it's not all that much different. A slightly different colour, and um, a, a stone circle somewhere, where this map has kind of an archaeological ruin, but... Here we are at the, the northeast corner of the map. And we are to hunt dinosaurs. Well, in particular, we're meant to hunt a triceratops. And um, we basically wander around in search of it. We can make dinosaur calls as we go, which I assume are meant to actually attract the dinosaur that we're hunting, although it never seems to make much difference. It goes like this. <laughs> it sounds different for each different dinosaur. I haven't heard this one before. Ugh, it sounds like me first thing in the morning. Um, but there doesn't seem to be any way to actually locate the dinosaurs. Like, they, the dinosaurs you're hunting don't seem to hang out in any particular kind of location. To me, it would make sense to have um, different species of dinosaurs uh, have a a fondness for different types of landscapes, so you have some idea where on the island to look for them, but that doesn't seem to be the case. They can be anywhere. And although we have a compass in the bottom left here, and we have a map, um, they don't point towards the dinosaurs or anything. I don't know if you can see on the compass, because it's a bit faint at the moment, but there's kind of a blue wedge. Um, sometimes that extends all the way out into the middle of the compass. Right now it's off way off in the periphery. Um, but that seems like it's pointed... Okay, can you see it now? It's emerging into the middle of the compass at this point. Um, 
But that doesn't seem to point at anything. It seems like it would be some sort of navigation aid to point towards maybe your target or, or some other useful thing, but it doesn't. I followed it around at some length. I spent about 20 minutes yesterday just following that thing, and mostly what it does is point you in circles. Um, and when I found my target, when I found a Stegosaurus that I was hunting, that blue wedge was not pointing at anything remotely approximating the location of the Stegosaurus. So I really don't know what that thing is for, but it certainly isn't helpful. So all you do, basically, is wander around like this until you find the dinosaur you're looking for. I don't know whether we're going to find it or not here. Um, if it takes too long, I might just go in search of the dinosaur, sort of off camera, and then um, show you it when I get there. But maybe I won't bother. <laughs> it's not that exciting. Um, you can see that the place is full of dinosaurs, and you can kill them, like this. Oh. <laughs> I failed to kill that one. Never mind. You get the idea. Usually it takes one or two shots to kill any of these. But these dinosaurs are just sort of passers-by. They didn't actually benefit you in any way. Um, they don't drop anything. They don't score you points or anything like that. And they can't even hurt you. They just run away or run past you. And in fact, so far, all the targets I've hunted do the same. Um, it looks like later on you can unlock more dangerous dinosaurs that will actually attack you, but as I say, I've been playing for a couple of hours and I haven't really unlocked anything. I didn't even, I didn't realise I'd unlocked that crossbow, but so far that's the only thing I've unlocked. So God knows how many hours I'd have to play for to actually unlock more dangerous dinosaurs. Um, and yeah, this is it. You walk through harmless dinosaurs amidst basically completely identical landscapes until you find a particular harmless dinosaur and then you shoot it and then a spaceship comes past and picks it up and takes it away and that's about it so this is carnivores dinosaur hunter don't play it there's no point it's it's incredibly boring it's the most boring thing that's happened to me all week and i work in an office anyway Thanks for watching. I will see you the next time, and hopefully then I will have a PS3 Mini that will be worth playing. See you then.